Hello everybody, I'm Paul Duffy. And I'm Emma Horich. And this is the Achievement Report. Today is Thursday the 8th in the great month of May. Today we will be talking about sports, weather, and some announcements. Now here's your announcements. AP testing started Monday and will be ending tomorrow, so make sure to finish strong with the tests. Do you have a little brother or sister in the middle school choir? Well, today is your lucky day. There is a choir concert tonight at 7.30 in the middle school auditorium. Tri-County Proms this weekend, so if you go to Tri-County, make sure to go out and dance your booty off. Superman, Wonder Woman, or even Aquaman, whoever your favorite superhero is, dress like them and make your way to the Biomed 5K May 10th at 7.30. The next ACT is June 14th, but the deadline is tomorrow, May 9th, so make sure to go register if you plan to take the ACT. Today and tomorrow are the last two days for tryouts for Chamber Choir. Periods three through four. In regards to last Friday, staying in the parking lot after school hours without having an after school event is prohibited. Also, make sure to stay around 15 miles per hour and do not change lanes as you're leaving the high school. It's too late to join now, but next year, make sure to join the ACT practice sessions after school with Ms. Burns. There are sessions for each ACT given during the year. There will also be food and refreshments for everyone who stays for the sessions. That's all for your announcements. Now let's go to Dominic Cockrow with your Chieftain Weather. Hello Logan High School. Today's weather looks like it will be sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 59. Now here's the rest of your five day forecast. Friday will be a chance of thunderstorms with a high of 73 and a low of 60. Saturday looks like it will be like the storms from Friday will be rolling into Saturday with, this, with a high of 67 and a low of 55. Sunday looks like it will st the storms will stop and it will be partly cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 56. Monday is looking a lot like Sunday with it being partly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 56. Well there is your Logan Chieftain weather. I'm Dominic McCockrow. Now here's Jake Young with your Chieftain Sports. Hi, I'm Jake Young with your Chieftain Sports update. On May 1st, the varsity softball team had a doubleheader against Trimble. They get two easy wins, winning the first game 17-6 and the second 18-3. Also, the tennis team faces Athens with a rollover win of 5-0. On May 2nd, the track team goes to Hamilton. The competition with the boys finishing 6 out of 14 teams. Finally, last Friday, Fisher Catholic's tennis team came to Logan looking to win. But Logan had different plans winning 5-0. to zero. Until somebody else does it next week, I'm Jake Young, TV2 Sports. Thanks for the update, Jake. Now we are going to Tyler Bears with an interview about what students want in Logan. Okay, the talk around town is Logan needs some new places to go to, cool hangout spots. So we're going around asking some people what they feel the good old city of Logan should bring in. Tim Hortons, because I like Tim Bits. Um, I think Logan needs more recreational things to do for like non-tourist people. We have countless foods, uh, pizza places, um, uh, like many restaurants, but there's nothing to do for people that live in Logan other than maybe a bowling alley and the scenery is kind of old for people that live here. I want a Japanese steakhouse. I think Logan needs a Cabela's or a Gander Mountain. What Logan needs is a Fort Rapids, straight up. I think we need a chicken wing place like Beat Ups or Roosters in Logan. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. A movie theater. So, as you can see, we are in dire dire need of some new businesses. Tyler Barrows, TV2 News. I would love for a movie theater. Let's hope we can get some of those things. Yeah, Japanese Steakhouse would be great. I could go for some yum yum sauce. But that's all we have for today, folks. Watch again next week for your updates on your local Chieftain News. TV2 News signing off. <laughs>
Bazinga. Bungard, let me picture it.